Oh. And these are the jumbo uh, LEDs. They've been mounted in a pair of uh, uh, safety glasses, dark safety glasses. And uh, it was for another device that I made years ago on an electronics uh, circuit. Anyway, I left this um, these lights uh, hooked up just like this for three days, minus the meter, and uh, it never stopped. I don't think that this will diminish until either the zinc is gone or the copper is gone. And what's interesting is just straight water. There's no base in it and there's no acid. So, and I did do a pH uh, test on the the water. It's right at seven, so it's absolutely neutral. So, nonetheless, there's still some sort of an electrolysis action going on here, albeit on a very minute scale. But it is producing electricity, nonetheless. And uh, I have, uh, I don't know if I've ever heard of anyone publishing anything like this. I know most of the electronic books that I've got say that you have to have a base or an acid to, to get the battery to work. Most of them say an acid, like... Uh, like lemon juice or vinegar or something like that. Uh, I'm not really sure what vinegar is, if it's a base or an acid or maybe a little of both. But, but anyway, there you have it. A ice tray battery cell with just water, copper, and zinc. Quite interesting. Oh, this uh, plug here that I put on for the uh, glasses. The glasses have this little eighth inch plug and what I did is uh, there's just two leads coming off this plug and one goes to the to the negative and one goes to the positive and also at the end of these trays when I said that you needed to run it in parallel what you'll end up with at the end here on the end plate is you'll have a zinc in this in the right hand end uh, uh, cubicle on each tray. So this one's got a zinc and a zinc which has a copper lead tying those two together. And you can see that real fine little copper wire there. You don't want it to touch the other one now. I have a just a full, a bigger piece of copper here wire that I kind of just bent around made another U-shape for this tray. Then it has to jump over to the far end on the left so both left sides are copper. So that's your positive. The zinc is your negative. And, uh, and that's where you hook your leads up to. Uh, without the two trays, I could not get it to, to light the, the, uh, the two LEDs, the jumbos. I'm sure it would light a smaller one. But I needed, to, what I figured is, is at least five milliamps per LED to get it to light and I was getting five milliamps off each tray or off one tray so I built another one hoping to get 10 milliamps to get the lights to light and then it worked uh, I have some other smaller LEDs around here somewhere I just have to dig them out and find them and I could have uh, probably just lit it with just one tray but this was so easy to build this way I decided just to go ahead and and uh, put it together really quick. I didn't take me more than 15 minutes to build this whole thing. So it was a little fun, a little bit of an adventure. And uh, yes, these little water batteries do work. By golly, they do work. They're, they're, not, they're not faking it. They're not putting a little battery hidden somewhere. Um, I'll turn my meter off here and unplug it. There's nothing here but my glasses. And uh, here's the meter probes with each end on it. This is just a speaker for my st my uh, computer. There's the wires. See all the wires? There's all the wires. There's the black lead. This is a lead for another speaker hooked up. This is my wireless antenna for my keyboard and my mouse. But uh, those are the only wires there. So, oh, it's um, 
it's definitely working. I figured that it would probably take um, oh about two to four hundred of these. Well, wait a minute. What did I figure out? I think it was either a hundred or two hundred to make one watt of power, which is very little. So that that goes to show you how how little bit of power it takes to light an LED. It doesn't take much power at all to light an LED. It's in the milliwatts, and uh, it's very very little bit little bit of power. Anyway, there you go. There's the water battery, and I hope you enjoy the video. I'm signing out. Thank you. are those dude I want a pair of those